What up everybody? How are you doing? I'm Ryan Napton and this is Saturday Secrets with Ryan Napton. So a lot of you have been asking in the comments, what's up with the sleeves of my jacket? So a jacket like this, uh, actually originally it started with just Gorilla Tape on a jacket that I fixed to be make a funny video of. And then sure enough that Gorilla Tape actually slid a hell of a lot better on the snow when I'm doing those laid down carves than uh, the fabric did. And uh, certain jackets are better than others. This one is terrible. I love this jacket. The color, it pops. Nice quick silver jacket that I got from the house.com. Check those guys out. Really good deals always. And uh, but yeah, it's got like this ripstop texture or something. And when I use my arm in, in carving and having this slide on the snow, it really grips and kind of yanks me back. So uh, one, so do you want to do this? I don't know, probably not. I know some of my viewers are laying down turns enough to where they might want to try something like this out. Most of you, probably not. Unless you're laying out turns, there's no need to do anything and mess up your clothing. Uh, if you did want an easy way where you aren't going to mess up clothing, uh, the clear Gorilla Tape doesn't really have a... Uh, doesn't really have it much of an adhesive residue, so uh, you could play around with it like that. I'm going to take it off of this one. Uh, eventually, the clear, it's not as durable as the uh, the other stuff, but uh, it does uh, it does tear up eventually. So this jacket I hardly used since I put this on, but uh, I'm going to now use take this off and replace it with marine fabric vinyl is what I've been using and. Uh, yeah, basically, you know, if a jacket doesn't do what I want it to do, it's got to be fixed. So I haven't even been using this jacket, even though the colors are really nice for video. So yeah, some marine fabric vinyl, just go into craft store or fabric store and, uh, and they'll have this type of material. I've been using this Fabric Fusion and uh, it's kind of pricey, so today I'm actually going to try uh, uh, E6000 as kind of the base coat just to get the major part of it on and then around the edges then I'll really get it good with uh, fabric fusion. Um, but uh, yeah, so how to do it and where to put it on. Basically if you've been already carving a deep enough to be using your elbow then you will see wear spots on your jacket and uh, that's where to put it. This one I messed up because basically for me if I hold my hands flat like this I want to grab my sleeve right here when I do those carves. Uh, open fingers. It can actually look really stylish, but uh, in weird, hard, chunky snow, you can actually hurt your fingers and probably even break them and stuff. So I like a closed fist and grabbing right here because then snow doesn't fill up your sleeves. So, uh, so when doing that, then basically I want the bottom. So I'm just going to follow this seam all the way up to. Not all the way up to my elbow, but uh, armpit, but almost. Um, and the reason I'm going extra far is when I do some of those revert carves, then I'm going that way. So if the seam ends here, then then I found that the snow is catching there. Hey, like I said, most of you probably aren't going to want to do this. I'm just showing you because you, some of you have asked about it. So uh, this is it. So yeah, I'm going to tear off this and then cut up some of these and uh, show you how I kind of just take some clips of how I do it. Alright, so all of this uh, clear Gorilla Tape came off real nicely. Uh, if you are going to use the original Gorilla Tape, this does leave a bad residue. So unless it's, unless it's a complete beater jacket, I wouldn't use this. But this is better for, uh, it lasts longer and slides actually better than the clear. Next I lay the sleeve flat exactly how I'm going to want it. So I've already followed this seam line up and uh, that's where I want it. So I'm going to go this whole entire underside of my sleeve and take the final and just basically cut that shape out. Alright, this is looking pretty good. I've rounded out the corners and uh, now I'm going to slap a bunch of glue on it and hoping this E6000 is alright. It's a flexible, um, clear, transparent, um, I don't know. It. Uh, Anything to like if if I could get it to adhere in the middle enough, then I'll use the more expensive fabric fusion that I know works, and I'll get that really nicely along all the edges.
Now that looks like a sleeve that I can do some deep carving with. Um, I'm going to uh, put some stuff on this, just let it sit and dry with, uh, with some stuff keeping pressure on it. And I'm going to do the other sleeve and let's go make some turns in the morning. See you then. Alright, it's uh, one day after a pow day and that is often really when the groomers have a little extra texture in them and are perfect for carving. This might be one of my best laid down carbs ever, this very first turn of the day. That snow is good. Probably uh, do a really nice switch one too. Does it look the raddest? Nah. Is it the perfect solution? Nah. Does it work? Hell yeah. So, hey, Quicksilver, Volcom, 686, any of my favorite brands. You wanna make this? Let's do it. Otherwise, I'll just keep on gluing my shit on. Hey, got Jack Lee here. He forgot his goggles at home, so he had to skip out on the first run, but luckily, uh, luckily the lost and found was cool about letting him just use a pair for the, and he's gonna return them at the end of the day. Hey, let's make some turns. <laughs>
Well, that's a wrap for shredding today. Thanks for taping again, Jack. Yeah, awesome day. Yeah, good stuff. It just kind of got super busy at the bottom, so I think we're... Actually, are you coaching today? Uh, I'm going to be riding with the Team Summit guys. Cool. So yeah, so he kind of yeah. rides and yeah. coaches with the Team Summit out here. Uh, that's a bunch of the young up-and-coming rippers. And, uh, yeah. Hey, thanks again. Yeah, happy yeah. shredding. Happy. Thanks for watching. Click that like button if you loved it. And, kabla!